Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I'm gonna share my top 5 quick tips for recording with Streamlabs OBS to help you to get the best quality for your content. Whether you're a gaming creator or working on tutorials video, these tips will make sure your video are top notch. So without further ado, let's go. So here comes the tips number one optimize your video settings so just go to the bottom left corner and you're able to see the settings icon so just click for it and look for the video tabs so firstly set your base canvas resolutions according to your monitor specs if your monitor is a 1080p so just put it in 1920 times 1080p if your monitor is 1440p so just set it according to 1440p what's come the most important that is your output skill the output skill remember to set it either 1080p or 720 it is because it is very depends on your system performance so if you got a pretty good system performance you're able to actually streams or record using 2k's resolutions but if you are using a mid-end or a budget pc so i recommend that you go for either 720p or 1080p especially for gamings and the down skill filter just go for land source fps type is common fps value and the common fps value you're able to go for either 30 or 60 but if when it comes to gaming's recordings I actually suggest that you go either 720p with 60 frames or 1080p with 30 frames but if you're able to support just go for 60 frames will do but do not worry if your game does not look good at 720p our previous video has already discussed about on how to actually improve your gaming quality with a very simple filters so here come tips number two that is using the right encoder so go to this output tab and just click on it and you're able to see streaming recording audio and replay buffer so just go under recording tabs and you're able to see there's a lot of settings which actually makes people feel very complicated but do not worry it is because it's not as hard as you think and it's actually very very easy i'm gonna show you right now on actually how to you choose your right encoder if you are using an nvidia gpu for gtx series or rtx series remember to use an nvidia nvenc h.264 for the new and if you are using a dedicated cpu you're actually able to use software x264 but but not everyone have a dedicated CPU so I actually suggest just go for NVIDIA and Vantage.264 with the new and the next thing that is your CBR with the red control actually prefer CBR red and for recording with gaming that about 1080p or even 720p with the 60 frames the best CBR red that I have tested that is it is either from 13,000 all the way to 15,000 but it is still very depending on your system performance so I can actually suggest that you start from 12,000 and increase slowly by slowly and before you do all the encoding settings remember to set your output mode from simple to advanced so that it's able to allow you to have a lot of detailed settings for your recording so here comes tips number three that is separate your audio track you're able to see this audio track under the recording tabs just tick it all and remember to set your audio track accordingly you're able to come to this audio tracks and name it and set your audio bit rate so when it comes to gaming or video tutorials i can actually suggest you just go for 192 or even 160 and remember to name your audio track so that you'll know which track is recording according to your music or gameplay music or your background music and your mic for example if you would like to actually just upload your video with background music or just the gameplay music so that you're able to mute your mic in the editing software or if you would like to actually include your mic and you do not want the background music to be played you're still able to choose the track accordingly and when it comes to separating your audio tracks we have actually discussed about on how to do it in our previous video and by the end of this video we have few amazing tips that able to allow you to improve video recordings with streamlabs obs and here comes tips number four that is setting up your hot keys so how do you do it come to the hotkeys just click on it and you're able to see there's so much type of hotkeys that you're able to set such as you're starting your recording stop your recordings change your transitions save your replay or even scenes or even changing scenes there's so much more so remember to set your hotkey according to which type of key that you would like to prefer and trust me it save you a lot a lot of times when it comes to recordings and of course also when it comes to streaming the last but not least here come tip number five 
that is always do a test recording to ensure that your video quality your audio level and your video performance is working perfectly or working smoothly this quick step can save you from discovering issues after hours of recording so always remember to make a short clip of recording to double check everything is working perfectly there you have it those are my top five quick tips for recording using streamlabs obs and here we go again if you found this video tip is helpful for you do remember to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel if you are new to here so the amazing tips that we mentioned earlier that is the first tip run your streamlabs as an administrator how do you do it just go to your desktop shortcut for the streamlabs right click and look for properties and under the property tabs you're able to see compatibility so under the compatibility tab run the program as an administrator and the second tips that is look for the advanced tabs on your streamlabs and click on the advanced and you'll see general so under the general you're able to see process priority and just click it for above normal so with these two steps it actually allows your cpu to prioritize when it comes to streamlabs when you are doing your recordings or even doing your streaming and that's all for today's video i hope this tip actually helps you out and remember to comment down below that which tips that you prefer to give it a try first and I highly suggest that you check out my previous video on Streamlabs tips and tricks so that able to allow you to record your gameplay or even stream like a pro even if you do not have an iron to see. So don't wait, set it up and that's it. I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.